In this brief tutorial, we're going to look at how you can broaden your search results. More often than not, your challenge will probably be narrowing your search results to a reasonable number, but you might find yourself in the position of finding too few results or no results at all. If that happens, you need to broaden your search. To show you what I'm talking about, I've opened up Academic Search Premier, which is a database you can access through the Albertsons Library website. I'm pretending that I'm writing a research essay on alternative energy. Let's say that I have a pretty good idea of what I want to talk about. I want to focus on hydrogen power and geothermal energy. So I'll just type those two things here and hit search and see what results we get. Okay, you can see that that brings back no results. What I need to do at this point is broaden my search a little bit, and there are a couple of ways I can do that. First, instead of searching for hydrogen power and geothermal energy, I can search for hydrogen power or geothermal energy, and you can change that just by clicking on this tab and selecting OR. Rather than bringing me back results that have to do with both, which would be nice but apparently isn't going to happen, Academic Search Premier will bring back results that have to do with either of these topics. So let's try that. Okay, you can see that brings back about 500 results. You could look through those, but you might want to spend a minute narrowing those results to a more manageable number. And there's another tutorial you can watch to help you with that. Another thing you can do to broaden your search results is use broader terms. Hydrogen power and geothermal energy are both specific types of energy. Maybe it would be better to use search terms that would include both of these topics, like alternative energy and power resources. So let me just type both of those things in here, and then we will see what results we get back. Okay, so that brought back 194 results. Again, you can look through those results to see what's pertinent to your project, or you could narrow those results a little. To summarize, if you're doing research and you can't seem to find enough results, try broadening your search a little bit. You can do that by using the word OR between your search terms, and you can try using broader search terms. Good luck as you find sources to use for your own research project.